Often you'll be asked to compare or put in order from smallest to biggest real numbers. And real numbers come in a variety of forms. Uh, a few things you need to know. You're going to need to be able to estimate or approximate square and cubic roots. You're going to need to know how to use long division. And you'll need to know the difference between the less than and the greater than symbols, which you probably know just by hearing those phrases. And how do you do that? Well, we're going to focus on estimation because that's going to give us most of what we need. If we need to grab a calculator, kind of all bets are off. You can just do it with a calculator. But for estimating values, put them all in decimal form and then simply compare their place values. And I have three examples down below. So let's dive in. In this first example, what I observe is that I know that this three next to this square root of 10 means three times the square root of 10. And I know that the square root of 10 is just a little more than the square root of nine. So I'm gonna guess it's about 3.1. So this side is about 9.3, eh, give or take. On the right hand side, this is almost the square of 100, which means it's almost 10. So while I don't really know what the answer is, maybe 9.8 or maybe 9.9, .9, I know that the left side is less than the right side because 9.3 is less than 9.9. .9. I can be confident in that answer. In the middle one, I have two decimals. One terminates 9.47, which means 9.47 and essentially just a bunch of zeros afterwards, and those zeros continue forever or 9.474747 with that 47 pattern continuing forever. And what I would observe here is that the nines are the same and the fours are the same and the sevens are the same, but here the zero and the four is the first time they're not the same. And zero is less than four, so the number on the left is less than the number on the right. That's the way you work that problem. And finally, long division, however much we need to do with it. Here we have a fraction and a decimal to compare. The only real way to do this without a calculator is to just to topple over that 3 sevenths. Go ahead and put the 7 and 3. And the key is you just need to find out, like the previous one, where they differ. So I'm going to put my decimal because it goes in 0 times. That's not a surprise. Add my 0. And 7 goes into 34 times 28. You know this routine. Subtract them and you get a 2. Okay, so notice how the four here and the four here match up. So no real help yet. We're gonna continue on. Bring down a zero. Seven goes into 22 times, right? Two times seven is 14 and you subtract them and you get six. Well, now we're comparing this number, the one, to this number, the two. And we don't have to do any more long division. We do not need to finish this. We've done all we need to because two and one compare this way. Two is greater than one. So 3 sevenths is greater than 0.4197. We don't even need to test the 9 and the 7 because we've already figured it out. And that is the easiest way to compare and order real numbers.